Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV radio production program. I'm Lucas Ausenbach. And I'm Dylan Sonny Burt. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. As a handful of positive coronavirus cases start to appear in Maryland, institutions like St. Mary's College of Maryland are taking precautions like restricting travel. An email from President Tawanda Jordan on Friday said all international travel was suspended, as well as some domestic travel. As of this past Monday, Governor Larry Hogan announced that there were six confirmed cases of the novel coronavirus of COVID-19 in the state at that time. By this Tuesday morning, the number had climbed to eight known cases. Four patients who are infected are Montgomery County residents, one lives in Howard County, and three live in Prince George's County. Agencies have also been advised to restrict out-of-state travel. This Tuesday, the St. Mary's County Commissioners are located $40,000 from their emergency reserve to the local health department to prepare for potential coronavirus cases in the county. Even as the commissioners voted 3-2 to two to not yet declare a state of emergency during the meeting, Dr. Mina Brewster, the county's health officer, said that there have been six confirmed cases of the virus in Maryland and although there are no current cases in St. Mary's County, it is likely to spread to the area. Brewster stressed it is important to not panic, to regularly wash hands, and stay home if sick. An agenda item to locate additional funds to the health department to prepare for the threat was scheduled for March 17th, but Commissioner John O'Connor said he doesn't think they should wait and made a motion to locate the funds Tuesday, with the other four commissioners agreeing. In addition, O'Connor made a second motion to declare a local state emergency, which would expire after seven days, claiming that even though there are no cases here yet, he wants to get ahead of this and prepare for the financial impact. Electric cars are becoming more and more popular and are more frequently showing up in St. Mary's County. Leonard Town Town Council is supporting this movement by agreeing to approve charging stations to be installed in a brick paved parking lot across from Good Earth in downtown Leonard Town. Smeco and the council have been working together to select areas suitable for those new charging stations. There are plans to put in the stations at public parking lots on Park Avenue and Washington Street. At a meeting Monday night, after members inquired about several of the projects mailing FDR Boulevard, the St. Mary's County Planning Commission approved the County Commissioner's proposed construction projects budget for the fiscal year of 2021. During this meeting, Jeanette Cudmore, Chief Finance Officer for the County, was present to answer her questions. She said the total budget of construction projects for fiscal 2021 will be around $87.5 million. Planning Commissioner Member William B.J. Hall asked if they could start with FDR Boulevard. Hall continued to say, I was taking a look at the increase. I think it's $3 million from last year to this year. So I started digging to find out where the project started. In 2008, we were at $16.6 .6 million. Now for a shorter stretch of road, we're at triple the cost. Now turning to sports. Things started off right for Great Mills Hornets girls basketball team during Friday night's Class 3A state quarterfinal with the visiting Rockville Rams of Montgomery County. The Hornets tied the game at 42 on a putback from sophomore Nakia Hall with 40 seconds left. But Rockville was able to pull a last moment win with a layup from Nyla Newman in the last six seconds. Rockville ended with a 44-42. Roughly 30 minutes before the start of the championship finals of the state wrestling tournament on Saturday evening at the Show Place Arena, all the finalists, male and female, had the chance to take part in a parade of sorts across the mats along the concrete floor inside the spacious venue. When the dust finally settled, following the round of championship finals, Southern Maryland Athletic Conference wrestlers would depart from, with one male state champion, Huntingtown senior Joshua Stokes, and one female champion, Great Mills freshman Jocelyn Kasich. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit smdnews.com. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Duncan Sunny Birch. Signing off.